Hey everyone, it's Ellen from Rhapsody Music Lessons. And our next song in the Taylor Swift Super Easy Song Book, and I'll leave a link in my description as to where you can get this, is Blank Space. Now this is a shortened version. All these songs are short versions of the original songs, just so you know that, because when you open it up, you don't even have to worry about turning pages in this book, because every song is just two pages long. Now, the way these books are set up, you've got chords in your left hand. So there's not a grand staff written here, okay? All you've got is the treble and the right hand notes, which is your melody. And your left hand's going to be playing these chords. And I supplement my students' lessons out of their method books, which teaches them the grand staff, with songs like this, arranged like this, because you can learn them quicker and my students have a lot of fun with them. So as long as they're getting their full you know, piano, music education. I think books like this are great because it gets, I don't know, gets my students all pumped up when they can play songs that they know and love so much. Now, chords are also a great thing for you to learn. So for example, this up here is a G chord and it tells you exactly where to put your fingers. There are only four chords in this particular song. G, E minor, a minor and C. And it shows you on these little finger maps up top how to place your fingers for this particular piece. Here's your G chord. You've got a D on the bottom, G in the middle, B on top. You hold that. And whenever you see a chord symbol, which is right here, the G, that's when it's time to play the G chord. Now we've got the E minor chord. All you have to do with this one is raise your pinky up one white key and keep your other two fingers right where they were on the G and B. There's your E minor. Now the A minor chord, keep your pinky where it is on E and move these two fingers up to A and C. So E on the bottom, A in the middle, C on top. And now we're going to go to our C chord. Leave your C alone on the top. Leave your E alone on the bottom. And you just move that middle finger down to G, from A to G, and there is your C chord. So I'm going to, you want to go over these a few times so you feel really confident about what your left hand is going to be playing. G chord, E minor, move up, A minor, and still leaving that pinky alone, C chord. Let me do that again. G chord, E minor, a minor, C. Those are the only four chords in the song. Now, the melody is all labeled for you. So if you're learning how to read music or maybe struggling with it a little bit, these notes all, I don't know if you can see it, but they all are labeled. So your right hand is going to be starting on this G, which is above middle C. This is middle C. Here's where you start. And I'll just play this melody for you. And you want to go over this too before you put both hands together. Last measure of the song, when you put your hands together, it says right here, no chord. So that means NC, no chord. You're just going to be playing your right hand. All right, and there's your ending. All right, now I'm going to put both hands together, and this is how you want to practice this piece. And I think in no time you'll get it and you'll feel great. And I'll keep doing videos on what is in this book. So all of you who want to learn these songs by Taylor Swift in an abbreviated or shortened way, 
can have fun doing it. All right. So here is your left hand G position and their G in your right. I hope this helps. If you find my videos helpful, please hit that like and subscribe and have a lot of fun with this. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.